I am Parminder Singh from Government Model High School, 40A, Chandigarh, along with Mr. Rajesh Kumar Ji. He is from uh, Government Model High School, Vikasnagar, Mauli Jagra, Chandigarh. Our topic of presentation under Rashtriya Avishkar Abhyan is Problem Solving Technique Problem Solving Technique in Handling Statement Questions. I have got an innovative idea to work out a seven step technique generally students especially of elementary classes don't read the statement questions properly with the due concentration so to teach the students the right track to solve such questions here is an exercise of seven steps advise the students as under read the statement in complete reread the statement complete now read it in parts work out what is asked for use your previous knowledge Work out the needful equation with the usage of formulae, then solve carefully and achieve the result or answer. Generally, students do not read the statement properly and get the wrong track and they repent afterwards. There is an example, I have worked out with one example sum that uh, seven small spherical metallic balls, here are these. I have made usage of uh, clay by making seven small spherical metallic balls, showing metallic balls with radius with small r. These are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each one having volume four by three pi r q. Students can understand the formula very well. Then I will uh, show them that by making a big ball, it works out to be a bigger ball of rad cap uh, radius capital R. The volume of it is 4 by 3 pi r q. Our statement question is, seven small spherical metallic balls are melted to form a big ball. If the radius of each small ball is 7 cm, then find out the radius of the bigger ball so formed after melting. Also find the cost of inting the big ball at the rate of rupees 70 per centimeter square. Our emphasis is on this thing that generally students do not read the statement in complete and do not read it in parts. They get panicky by seeing the length of the statement. If they are advised to read it in parts, they will get more confidence in handling the question. Then they will they know many things. As I have mentioned in the step 5, use your previous knowledge. They know many things, many formula, plus, minus, subtraction, square root, cube root, they know everything. Just by depicting this idea, I think it will help the students in achieving the result properly. They will not get astray in the uh, solving the question. Thank you.